In this video I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called signed fraction subtraction involving double negation. So we have two fractions being subtracted and so to get things started anytime we're adding or subtracting fractions we need to have a common denominator and in this example our denominators are 6 and 4. So to find the lowest common multiple between 6 and 4 I'm just going to list out a couple of the multiples of 6, which are 6 times 1, 6 times 2, 6 times 3, etc. And do the same thing for 4. The multiples of 4 are 4 times 1, which is 4, 4 times 2, which is 8, 4 times 3, which is 12. And we can see that the lowest common multiple, the smallest multiple that they have in common, is 12. So my first step is going to be to re rewrite this problem with that common denominator of 12. So starting with the first fraction, in order to turn the 6 into a 12, I would need to multiply by 2. And I can do that in the denominator as long as I also multiply the numerator by 2. For the second fraction, I would need to multiply the 4 in the denominator by 3. And in order to do that, I would also need to multiply the numerator by 3. So let's rewrite the problem now. The first fraction is still a negative. In the numerator, I have 2 times 1, which is 2. And in the denominator, 2 times 6, which is 12 just keeping the rest of the problem the same but doing the multiplication 7 times 3 in the numerator of the second fraction is 21 4 times 3 in the denominator is 12 so we have rewritten the problem but now with a common denominator of 12 so now we can turn our attention to the fact that we have subtraction and these negatives whenever we're doing addition and subtraction with negatives, it's easier if we can turn the subtraction into addition. So I'm going to say turning subtraction into addition, we can do that if we remember to keep change change. So we're going to keep the first sign, the negative, that's 2 over 12. We're going to change the subtraction into addition and then we are going to change the sign behind the subtraction. So instead of a negative this is now going to be a positive 21 over 12. So again to change subtraction into addition we kept the first sign, changed subtraction to addition, and then changed the sign behind it. And now we can use the rules for addition. And the rules for addition for sign numbers are when the signs are different, we should subtract and keep the sign of the larger. And if the signs were the same, we would have added and kept the sign. But the signs are different, so we're going to subtract and keep the sign of the larger. So since I'm working with fractions, I'm going to go ahead and keep the denominator, 12, and then for the numerator, the signs are different. I'm subtracting and keeping the sign of the larger. So I have 21 and 2. If I subtract, I get 19. And if I keep the sign of the larger, the larger one is the 21, which is positive. So 19 twelfths. This is in the simplest form, since the numerator and the denominator are only divisible by 1. I can't reduce this fraction. It is improper. And if we wanted to make it a proper fraction, I could divide the denominator, 12, into the numerator, 19. And 12 goes into 19 once. When I subtract the 12, my remainder is 7. So 1 and 7 twelfths. So we have our solution written two different ways.